Namor, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Uh, it's we already kind of figured that that was you know what I'm saying was coming up, but recent leaks uh, and uh, things of of that nature was going on. You know what I'm saying behind the scenes have kind of confirmed. I'm a, I'm a use that term uh, loosely that uh, Namor will be the main antagonist, the main villain of Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. Um, and uh, this is coming from X-Fire. says, Namor reportedly make his MCU debut as the Black Panther 2 villain. Um, after 2016, Captain America Civil War introduced Wakanda and 2018's Black Panther uh, did a deep dive into the hid hidden city's rich culture and traditions Namor's entry into the MCU was all but certain. In the comic book, the Submariner had a long and bloody history and war against the vibrating rich city, as well as its protector, the Black Panther. At one point, the King of Atlantis flooded Wakanda. However, absent any official confirmation, we can't really say for sure if the MCU will head on over to the underwater city next. But rumor has it that the MCU will introduce the anti-hero into the MCU uh, in Black Panther Wakanda Forever as its villain. Um... Charles Murphy of Murphy's Multiverse recently responded to a question about Namor's involvement in Black Panther 2 on Twitter. Murphy responded by saying uh, he is prime. He, I mean, he he's the primary antagonist. So, um, and he was replying to a, a person who said, "How involved is Namor in Black Panther 2?" I guess I mean, like, how big of a part is he in Black Panther 2? And Charles Murphy replied, "I mean, he's the primary antagonist." And if y'all don't know who Charles Murphy is, he's uh, what, what's he's a scooper. You know what I'm saying? So he gets a lot of information. He, he you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes stuff. He's a, he's a scooper. So Murphy's confirmation is just the latest in the long line of rumors and speculation saying that the Submariner is coming to the MCU. Um, but, you know, his the, the involvement, the, the talks and speculation has been there for a while. Uh, we know that uh, Tanakoeta has been cast as Namor in uh, Black Panther, uh, Wakanda Forever. Um, and he was seen down in Puerto Rico where they were uh, some of uh, uh, the location where they were filming Black Panther 2 at the time, he was seen at that location. Uh, he's Mexican. I think they're going to have the Atlanteans have uh, maybe some type of an Incan or Mayan type, um, you know what I'm saying, backstory to go along with, with uh, the Atlanteans. I think that'd be dope. Um, we know that Wakanda Forever has already wrapped its filming. Uh, so details like this is inevitable. Uh, however, Marvel Studios official word on uh, BP2 likely won't come into it much closer to the movie's uh, release. Until then, hey, just speculation, man. That's all it's going to be, speculation. We got Dr. Strange and the Multiverse of Madness coming out May 6th. Miss Marvel, uh, as well as Thor Love and Thunder following suit June 8th and Ju uh, July 8th. So all we can do is really speculate, man. But what I do want to say is that... Um, Black Panther 2 not having T'Challa in it is going to serve as, to me, to me now, this is just my personal opinion, a big detriment to Namor's storyline involving Wakanda. Namor, T'Challa, these are two uh, uh, kings, prideful kings, right? And they have a expansive backstory on their involvement with one another and without a, a proper t'challa to go along with that backstory we won't get a proper name more to that and not like i said this is just my belief we won't get a proper name more i mean him flooding wakanda and, and now this is off of the comics when he flooded wakanda B. Pika, I mean, it was just crazy. He ended up stabbing him and throwing him into a portal. Like, it was wild, man. Like, they fight because these are two prideful individuals who will do anything for their kingdoms. But we're not going to get that without a T'Challa. And I just don't think that the, the dynamic between Namor and a Shuri is going to work. That's, like I said, that's just me personally. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I just think we're going to miss out on a lot, a big chunk. Recast T'Challa, man. We're going to miss out on a big chunk of super dope storytelling that we're not going to get because we don't have T'Challa. He don't have to be Black Panther because I know a lot of people keep talking about the mantle. We don't need T'Challa to be Black Panther, but T'Challa is always there. 
he's always there so um yeah man i am still regardless of the situation i'm still looking forward to black panther 2 wakanda forever um whether it does good or not i'm gonna be right there um as you can see right here in this slide man these these dudes man they go at it they go at it they rivals for real the child and they it's like and when i say they go at it it's on site the only time they came together was because the whole universe the you know everything was being destroyed and so they had to come together but after they solved that it was on site it was on site we gotta see that man i need to see that plus namor namor is probably one of the oldest superheroes that marvel has in its canon it's so many things that they can do with namor man i just hope they don't waste this opportunity on namor like i said hey marvel y'all on the hot seat with me maybe not a lot of people a lot of people you know spider-man was good blah blah, blah. y'all on the hot seat with me y'all y'all on the hot seat so that's just me but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think um are y'all excited about uh namor coming up and showing up in black panther 2 um are y'all excited about black panther 2 that's what's up y'all let me know y'all let me know 